we put pastors on there because we think they're that that link to God or that link to you know salvation or things of that nature. You know what I mean? And that's why we say because you know you and I both know. Don't talk about my pastor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, hold on. hey, baby. Let's what's do going? it. Let's go. Hey, look. Next episode. The next episode. Look, we're gonna talk a little bit about why mm. do we as human beings put people on a pedestal? Could that why mean, do we do that? Could that mean the pastor? Oh, that could mean the pastor. That could the, be your significant other, women in general, if we're talking from the men's side. Why do we do this? Uh, a lot of times, especially when, I mean, it starts with, um, you know, your uh, family. It starts with your family. So whoever raised you or whatever, and you thought that they were, you know, because you're a child, because you're learning or whatever. Since, you know, so you you have them in your life and you kind of put them on the pedestal. Like they can do no wrong until you see them do them wrong. Do something wrong, should I say, you know? So that's where it starts. And then you start getting into uh, church, right? So you get into church, right? So tread, hey, look, tread lightly, tread hey, lightly. Hey, 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 I'm just, I'm, hey, I'm just saying. Oh, look, nephew, look, look. look. Let's that, go. You start going to the church because you start to put mm -hmm. the pastor, the first lady, the deacons. You got to put them on a pedestal, right? They can do no wrong, or maybe they have done wrong, but you kind of like look the side eye to it. You're like, nah, not so much, not so much. You know what I mean? So the reason why I think that we put you know, I guess you would, if we want to talk about uh, church and pastors and things of that nature, I think that we put pastors on there because we think they're that, that link to God or that link to, you know, salvation or things of that nature. You know what I mean? And that's why we say, because you know, you and I both know. Don't talk that. about my pastor. Okay. <laughs> you know, hey, hold up. People, I'm just saying, you don't hey, that. Hey, I'm just saying, like, you, you feel like that they are the ticket to it. So I need to be close to that person and they can do no wrong, no matter what they do. And well, you've seen, you've seen the mega church churches, right? You've yes, seen them. Yes, 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 yes. And they, and they, I, they make sure you're taken care of. But look, 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 let's get on into it. Time go ahead. Out, okay. Go ahead, go ahead nephew. Yes. Go ahead. Church, family. Okay. Congregation. Okay. As far as the, the pastor and putting them on a pedestal, I think, a lot of us have done it and share a quick story. I remember when a person who I was, I really uh, looked up to as a man, when Reverend Jesse Jackson, they said he had a baby out of wedlock and I was distraught. Didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to believe it. It's not true. Now let's go into that lady. Those relationships. Yes. Okay. It's supposed to be an equal thing. But have we put that lady? I'm gonna, you know, you can't afford this thing, or you do something, but you go in debt because yeah. of what? You trying to impress? Yes. She means this to me. I want yes. her to see that this, yes, we we shouldn't do that. Yes. But no. when you get a little older, wiser, you don't do those things. So have we done it? Yes, I've done it. Mr. Kane, have you ever been victim of putting somebody on a pedestal? Of course. Of course. In relationships, you put people on pedestals. Yeah. You know, you you want it, you know, you feel like they can do no wrong and you sometimes you're blinded by that that word called love, you know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes you're blinded by it. And uh -oh. You, you don't even see what's really out there right in front of you. You got people that's, you know, maybe even nagging in your ears about, hey, we seen this, we seen that, but not, you put them on the pedestal like, hey, they didn't do that. They would never do anything like that. However, however, the, the caveat to that is some people will like to um, mess a good thing up. If they don't have anything positive in their life, they will try to damage your life. So they may even say these negative things. To you know, kind of get you riled up or break that relationship up or something like that. You know what I mean? So it's it's crazy out there, bro. And and when I when I feel like pedestals, no one and you can go back to the religion thing or, or whatever, but no one person is above another. Say that one more time. No one person is above another. So even if you go to your pastor and you talk to him, there's no one person is above another. 
He doesn't have a, a, a secret link to get to get to God. He doesn't. Okay. I mean, okay. I understand you. I understand okay. You probably think so, and you think no, he's don't, anointed. Don't, don't, he's don't anointed with something else. Don't that, don't put that on. Why, why don't even, put that why on even, the followers? Don't put that on no, the followers. No, I'm not, I'm not I'm putting gonna, it on the followers. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna I'm say, gonna say this, I'm gonna say ahead, this too, ahead. and I ain't trying to go cut ahead. you off like that. Go ahead. But now your spirit just jumped into me. You know how you like. Ah, get on it. Put it in the comments, people. But we can get off the pastors just for a second because would you say or even agree that? The boss, your boss. Do you put them on pedestals? Some people can hate their boss, or the you have a boss and then a CEO. Man, mm -hmm. they coming through the building. You walking up straight. You done put on your your best outfit. Now you're more courteous. Now you're you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Is that an example of putting them maybe on a a pedestal? I think so, but here's the mm -hmm. caveat to that. Come on, I'm gonna tell, tell you. Yes, we do do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes to you know, in the military with your commander mm -hmm. or on the uh, the government side with what they call SESs and stuff like that, though we do put them on there. But you got to look at it in a sense where respect the position, not the person. Mm -hmm. Meaning, meaning. If if yeah. that person is the CEO, that person is the commander or SES, we're just respecting. We're, we're saying, hey, that position is, you know, a, a, a prestigious type position. So, yeah, we're respecting it. So there's no point in doing anything out of line, especially when a person that's in that position has a whole lot of authority. Now, you can look at it in that way or you can look at it as you know, let's clean up before daddy come home. That's, <laughs> you know, right. what I'm saying? It's, it's a consequences. <laughs> Okay, it is some consequences. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it, it happens all the time, man. And they are they're people just like us. They just they they just in a different position. Well, I'll say this, okay, with that. Uh, instead of putting people on pedestal, mm -hmm. put yourself up there, and you walk in that light. See yourself as being the CEO, and work towards that. Yeah. You won't you won't go wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. Put yourself yeah. up there or whatever. Oh. It, it doesn't have to. And now go back to, boy, to the religion or to the pastors. All right, uh, stay off our pastors, but they give the word. They teach the word. Okay, we say they are ordained. We'll get into that later. Another that's a different argument or whatever. But when they preach. We say God give them the word to preach. They've studied all of that stuff. They hear the word. You feel like it convicts you. And then you have to study yourself. Not put them up there because every good man, woman of God that gives messages, they will say, hey, I'm up here, but this is preaching to myself and I'm preaching to you because I'm just like you. From the pulpit to the parking lot. Church family, y'all should know what I'm talking about right there. Okay. Hey, look, look, look. That's an example. Another example I see mm -hmm. that a lot of people people put is their status. Uh oh. In money. Uh huh. In education. Say edu Say that one more time. You hitting money in education. We put them on the pedestal. So Give me some horns people, on that. Give the, me some look, horns. The, the the rich people. Look, the, the rich people. We put them on a pedestal. Yes. Like like they. Like they can do no wrong just because they got money. Mm. You can make money too. Yes. That's a and, lot of oppression. You know, and then saying? look, 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 used to say, oh, look, look, look. And that would be another topic that we're gonna discuss. That uh financial independence and the generational wealth. Mm -hmm. Going into that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna uh educate you know, um, our audience on, mm -hmm. you know, different types of, uh, ways to have that financial freedom, you know, yes. start, start you off small. You ain't gotta be all the way up here. You don't have to be all the way up there, but you start you off small and you start to build up, you start to build up. And it ain't all about go run and go get this education, go run and go get this, whatever, you know, working two, three jobs. Let's, let, let's see, let's check the foundation that yeah. where the foundation is, Cause you, I'm, I'm telling you this. You have never met a person that's working two or three jobs and they coming up. Look, 
when it comes to these people that we put on pedestals, I don't care if you're a, a lawyer, doctor, you got mm. that education. Yes, you went through the school. I'm telling you, I have met a ton of doctors. No, oh, come on, go ahead. That they can't, they can't <sighs> put it together. Yes, they intellectually great. Yeah, that skill, whatever that skill yeah. may be, they great at that because they went through the training and did that. They went to school. But, yes, mm -hmm. but you know, in the military, when we uh, uh, just because they got a degree, that means they they know how to lead. No, no, hey, no. Let, hey, every all the military they put people them in know charge that. though. They'll put yes. them in charge. They'll put yes. them in charge just because they got a degree. They put them on a the pedestal. Like, hey, yeah, you need to be in charge. They don't know how to do anything. They know how to get a degree, though. They know how to study. That's individual. That's but an individual lot, char characteristic. A lot of times, you know, the individuals that, that have the degrees and everything else, and when they placed in those positions, and this could be mm -hmm. in the civilian sector, too, mm -hmm. uh, it's somebody else that might not have the degree that's teaching them everything they should do. Yes. But because they have that piece of paper, mm -hmm. they're going to be over it. And that ha that happens a lot in the military. I know it happens in the yes. uh, civilian sector that we're yeah, of in course. now. Of course. So, of course. It happens um, all the time. It happens all just because you got a piece of paper, you can step ahead of the crowd. I understand the piece of paper. The piece of paper said you started, you finished something. Yeah. That's basically what we're saying. We're not saying that you are expert in whatever that was, but you started, you finished. So I don't I, I, should I decide on if I want to bring this person in or whatever? So it's it's crazy when it comes to education, how we put people on pedestals. We even put um, who we even put uh, uh, single no, mothers I... on pedestals. Okay. Okay. So when <laughs> when now, look and the, the conversation is getting long. Okay, but when do we put and we got to stop do... promoting that? We have to stop promoting that. Okay, course, all the single course. mothers, of course. I done said it. We love you, all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's train up our young ladies so they don't be single mothers. Train up our men so they don't make single mothers or whatever. But right now in this day of society, yes, we do. We put them on pedestals. Yes. I did we this. We take care of them. We, wow, man. And then once you take care of them, you're not trying to get them out of that situation. You just condoning that situation what do you think yeah, <laughs> i think it is yeah. I, they condoning yeah. it it's like hey yeah. continue on we got you we got your back yeah we got it's, your back when it comes a program to program there for you yeah there's a program here for you and we can keep you keep you just where you're at that, that's no. not the way to be and we like i said and they will look at these different situations and it just doesn't make any sense man i'm telling you well, i'm telling well, you, than you nobody has that not at all not at all but don't say nothing about my pastor though you won't have no I don't problem. Know your I don't know okay. your All right, Roger hey, that. Uh, shout out. Shout <laughs> out. <laughs> hey, look, my final thoughts like, look, uh, when it comes to putting people on pencils, don't do it. Yes. Everybody's everybody is equal in a sense. I don't care how much education you have. I don't care what your situation is. I don't care how much money you got. Yes. None of that matters. Don't put them on a pedestal. That's it Find me. your craft and perfect it. Yes. That's all we got. Yes. <laughs> Look, uncomfortable truth. Oh, baby. Roger that.